Hi, Polly here with Cut at Home. Today I'm going to show you a technique using die cutting and washi tape. I'm going to be using Tim Holtz framework die. This one is the trellis die. And I'm going to also be using this bicycle die. This is one of the new Spellbinders Inspire dies. Both of those dies are available at the Cut at Home website. Here is a card that I've made using the technique I'm going to show you. It's a really fun and easy technique. I started with the card base. This is a five and a half by five and a half square card base. I've also cut a square five and a quarter by five and a quarter. This is going to go on top of my card base. And I have cut a play piece of plain white paper that's five and a half by five and a half. And what I've done for this technique is I have measured from corner to corner on a piece of paper. So what I did is I took a pencil and I made just a little mark on each corner. Well actually on two corners here diagonally. Then I'm going to take my washi tape and I am just going to Take my first piece and line it up to those marks. And this part here doesn't matter, you could just fold those over. And then I'll take my next color that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to lay it up against that piece so there's no gaps. Then I'll just keep on going like that with my washi tape. And I'm going to continue on like this till I have this whole sheet of paper covered with washi tape. See it's coming along. I'll just keep on continuing with this. So when you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. It just depends on how many different types of washi tape that you use. For this card I had used four different patterns. No, I'm sorry, five different patterns. So this one I used four but I just used two colors. The next step is going to be using the Big Shot to die cut this sheet. So I've got my die cutting done with my Big Shot and I actually will be able to get two cards out of this. I'll have these cut out which look very nice but I didn't like how they looked on this card. So on this card 
I decided that I'm going to use the inside and I cut some solid green and I'm going to use the inside pieces on the card. So I'm going to finish up my card and get it all put together and then I'll show you the finished product. So I finished my card. I added some bling and some flowers. That's how that turned out. I also used washi tape for the bicycle and for the background on the sentiment. And then my other card, as I showed you before, I used the washi tape. And then I did the reverse here, like on this card. And I have the washi tape here. So with dyes and washi tape, you can really come up with some very nice new effects on your cards. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, thanks and happy scrapping.